Hi everyone, Kimberly Berg in a Rebel Fit Club. Today we're going to talk about using a wall to improve your posture. So many of my clients over the years who have stooped posture have been given wall exercises to improve their posture. I'm going to show you why this could be problematic. I have other tools for your posture, so if this is one that you've been given, I'm going to give you a slight variation of it, and then in the videos to follow, I'm going to help you improve your posture without the wall. Okay, so this is usually the cueing that is given is to put your heels against the wall, to get your rear, your shoulder blades, and the back of your head. Well, you can see with my posture, I have pretty good posture. I'm able to do that. Now, that's not an exercise I'm going to use all the time, but it's good to, you know, think tall and press into the wall. But if you have stooped posture, that isn't even possible. For instance, if you're in this rounded, so you have a posterior tilt, you're rounded through the thoracic spine, your knees are slightly bent, and you're told to stand up against a wall, this is what happens. You can't get there. So you feel like this sense of failure, but maybe you try to get your shoulder blades against the wall. So what do you do? You shoot your hips back or forward, and that goes into your low back. Or you try to get your head back, and this happens. So it's just not a great tool. I've seen people struggle. I just saw a gentleman yesterday trying to struggle to do this, and he goes, Kimberly, my back hurts so much every time I do this. So I kind of rigged it up so that his feet are away from the wall and he's back here and he has a pillow or a, a deflated, slightly deflated ball behind. But I'm really asking him to push the back of his hands and think about his shoulder blades gliding together. So I'm focused more on that and using the wall as a tool to activate his back muscles rather than trying to get his head back. I want his head level. So think about a slight chin tuck and the back of your head into a cushion or a ball or whatever. And then just focus on the back of your hands and your shoulder blades coming together so it opens up your chest. Forget about trying to get your head back there and all of the rest. It should be comfortable in your low back. Exercises should not hurt your low back. So anyway, that is my quick hit for today. I'm gonna follow it up with some exercises that actually help your posture, don't hurt your low back. So if you are trying to do this and you feel like you're failing at it or it's hurting you, then make this modification. Stay tuned, watch my following videos, and we will help you. So that is my quick hit for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and go to my website at rebelfitclub.com. There's a place where you can subscribe to the articles and the videos. They'll come to you every Monday morning. Also, contact me, Kimberly, at rebelfitclub.com. I can answer any questions that you may have about exercise and how it can help you with your posture. It can help you with your Parkinson's. We love exercise. We believe in it. Thank you so much for listening. And as always, there's hope and go forth and conquer.